good afternoon friends uh, welcome to my channel go digit in this video we will learn about the standard costing method in new dynamics 365 business central and how the standard cost works so the very first thing which we have to check is that uh, let me click on search button and type here as items and I will click on this items link and it will open up the item master uh, well I have already created a new item card here for the testing of standard costing method and not sorry this is not the said item this is the item 70062 standard costing item and here in the cost and posting section I have defined the costing method as standard and the cost of this item is 10 in the standard cost field so this suggests that the unit cost of this item is 10 so anytime whenever I will purchase this item from any vendor uh, the cost will remain 10 no matter if I buy it uh, on any price but the system will always maintain the standard cost of this item as 10 only so to check this working uh, we will create a purchase order first and post the receipt then in the invoicing part I will change the cost from 10 to somewhere 25 and then we will see how system will maintain the cost uh, of this item okay so to start with let me click on search button and because this is a new uh, feature of this wave 2 business central that we have got the department uh, page also so from here only I will click on the purchase order and click on new and here I will type the vendor as 10,000 London Postmaster and now in the type field I will select the item and input my item number as 70062 and here I will put the location code as blue quantity will be 1 and the direct link cost is 10 so because I maintain the cost as 10 in the item card so I am putting here as 10 only that I am purchasing this item from this vendor for 10 rupees okay. so here after all this thing I will click on post button and click on post here I will do the receiving first okay. so when I click on receive and click ok so we will see that system will create the posted purchase receipt and the item ledger to check that I will click on navigate button click on receipts and this is my receipt document and uh, to check more of it I will click on navigate and this is my item ledger and here we can see that uh, the receipt document number is 107038 and against this receipt number we have received quantity 1 but here if you see the cost amount actually showing as 0 only and if I click on it it will open the value entry page and here also it will show us that the cost amount expected is 10 and cost amount actually is 0 see the difference between this field and this field is that until and unless you are not invoiced by the vendor for the item which you purchased uh, the system will not uh, transfer that value uh, under the cost amount actual section until that portion the cost will always in uh, be in the expected mode okay so this is why uh, we the uh, 10 amount is showing in this field called cost cost amount expected okay so now after this uh, we will create a purchase invoice okay so to, to do that I will click or type here as purchase invoice and 
when I click here and click on the new button click on the new button I type here as 10,000 and uh, because the vendor was 10,000 only and now I'll click on line and click on functions and click on get receipt lines and here we will see our receipt document which we have just generated against our purchase order so I'll select that line and click OK so by default system copies that receipt line in my purchase invoice and I do not have to input again all that same information but now the main change which I have to do here is uh, that I will change the cost as not 10 but 25 this means that this vendor is charging me the amount of 25 and not 10 okay ideally in ideal situation this was not done because we are maintaining a standard cost of an item and we know that this item will always cost 10 and not 25 but uh, for some uh, uh, cases some rare cases maybe the vendor will charge us more so this will term as or coin as a loss for us that uh, we are at the loss of 15 rupees so this means that because we are maintaining a cost of 10 but uh, vendor is charging us of 25 so it will come under the variance section okay so i'll show you how system maintain this so now we are done with that information we have changed the cost here i will provide the vendor was number and click on f9 uh, or press the f9 button from the keyboard and it will ask me do you want to post the invoice i'll click yes and see it is showing me that the invoice is posted and move to the posted purchase invoice do you want to open the invoice i said yes okay so it has opened up the posted purchase invoice card and I'll click on navigate here uh, sorry mm, there is another option there yeah here it is navigate invoice no it's not showing here guys I'm also learning the shortcuts here so I think it is not available here as the navigate main through which we can see all the documents which are generated against this okay here in the invoice button you can click here as navigate and see it is showing us the related documents which are made against this invoice button so here we can click on the value entry section and we can see that first line which was made against the receipt uh, so we know the cost amount expected was 10 when we post the receipt and now because uh, the actual cost was 25 and not 10 so what system does is that system made another entry of type variance and posted that variance entry with amount 15 so if I say 25 minus 15 is equals to 10 so this means the system will always maintain the cost of this item as 10 only because we are following the standard costing method so this is how system posts the adjustments entries uh, as variance when it comes to the standard costing method so if you input more amount uh, in the invoice than the standard cost system will post the various entry with negative and in case you post uh, the invoice with less with less amount than the standard cost then system will post the variance entry in with positive amount so this is how a uh, system works with the standard costing method so to check that you can also do uh, our test uh, with various entries in your system and check how standard cost works so I believe uh, you have now learned the basic concept that how standard cost works in business center. Uh, so guys, if you like this video, please click the like button and hit the subscribe button also. So thank you very much for this, uh, for watching this video. Uh, goodbye.